What we have here is a state-of-the-art 8x20 ocean container that's been custom-built as an environmental spill response unit. It uh, carries extensive uh, ocean and land-based uh, spill response equipment, along with extensive personal protection equipment for the workers that will use it. This one is destined to a uh, construction project on the coast of northern British Columbia. The uh, a wide door allows uh, multiple workers to be able to uh, start to, to deploy the equipment there rather than if it was just the rear opening, uh, only one or two workers would be able to access the equipment at a time. All the equipment is labeled and marked on the shelves and uh, is set on priority that you would use in a uh, spill situation. What's pretty unique about the side opening uh, containers is uh, you have immediate access to everything that's there. On the right hand side here we have uh, ocean boom. Those are 50 foot lengths and this container carries a thousand feet of that. Right beside it are uh, grab and go spill kits. Uh, in the event of a small spill, each one of those two uh, kits would be able to handle about 80 liters or 80 or 90 liters each. And uh, then you get into the uh, uh, center on the left of it. Uh, the spag zorb is there. In the event of a spill onto ocean course, you could open up all four doors and three, four, or five responders could all be pulling that spag zorb out at the same time rather than just one at a time out of the back. The shelves are all numbered and the uh, units on them are all uh, lettered uh, for inventory control. Uh, the first uh, four you see on shelf two, A, B, C, and D are all personal protection equipment. Uh, we need that uh, front and center for the responders' uh, health. And then uh, the shelf six and shelf 10 are more into the actual uh, spill response equipment, uh, including uh, hip waders, uh, 24 inch rebar to be able to hold the 510 boom in place. And then on the far left, uh, you'll see the letter H on uh, shelf 12. That's part of the environmental uh, test kit that's put in. You'll also see at the top, you'll see white, uh, yellow and gray pads. The white pads are hyd hydrophobic only. They will only pick up hydrocarbons. On the back wall, strapped to the back wall, is 13 inch uh, silt fencing. And uh, in the event of uh, disturbance on the shoreline, that can be deployed and uh, would be deployed, uh, of course, in the ocean and would stop any silt or uh, disturbance uh, going out to sea. As well as uh, strapped to the ceiling is 200 feet of, of uh, four and six inch piping. In the event that we had to uh, build T dams uh, in the ditches or the water course, then uh, the 200 feet of piping could be used uh, first for the T dam and to be able to divert the water. So what we have available from the uh, back smaller door is we do have uh, 18 inch uh, ocean boom. Uh, this particular container carries a thousand feet in 50 foot sections and they can be linked together. So in the event of a possible contamination going into the ocean, a thousand feet could be immediately deployed. We also carry uh, board weirs. Uh, so when there's um, a spill going through a culvert, uh, these can be installed right in and be an initial or second line of defense uh, to stop the contamination from flowing. And it carries a uh, 10 by 10 tent uh, that is part of the uh, uh, decon equipment that's used uh, in case a uh, a uh, worker does get contaminated for cleanup along with uh, sprayers and pumps that are there. This environmental um, response unit carries four 95-gallon uh, overpacks and uh, in the interest of saving space, uh, two of these overpacks are full of uh, 510 river boom and two of them are full of uh, two and three inch uh, firefighting uh, discharge hose. Also carries eight 205-liter uh, drums uh, four are uh, closed top, and that's used for recovery of liquids in the event of a spill. And four of them are open top for waste, oily debris and such. As well, uh, for the uh, storage on the unit, uh, the 45s are full also of uh, 510 river boom uh, used in the event of a spill. Again, um, utilizing as much space as we can within the container to get as much equipment uh, onto the scene as quick as possible. This unit is a 8x20 with both a rear and a side opening. Uh, you can also get it with both sides opening. As well, uh, there's a 10x10 with both the rear and side opening, or just the rear opening. And as well, we make these in 17 foot, 24 foot, and 30 foot tandem axle trailers. The red 30 footer that's outside is a full hydrocarbon response unit and is usually now the first trailer that rolls on any spill here in uh, Vancouver Island.